Hi, no, uh, this is not a shoebox. Uh, this is a Asus uh, Transform Transformer Book T100G. It comes in a nice uh, looking box, uh, easily open. Uh, however, to pull it out, you need to pull on this tab and it's much easier just to kick it out. Uh, beneath this uh, we have uh, one uh, charger and we have a really really short uh, USB cable so th you cannot really say that there is any length to this, uh, maybe meter or something. Uh, and we additionally get some paper. And this is not unboxing, I already uh, unboxed it, uh, already charged it, already play with it. So this is just a first look. Okay, uh, if you disregard short cable, because hopefully you can replace it by any standard uh, USB micro cable, uh, there is issue of charger. Uh, charger, although it looks just as an, any USB charger, and if you try it with any device, it will function as a normal USB charger. It is everything but. Uh, so this charger outputs 5 volts and 9 volts. 5 volts for normal devices and 9 volts if it detects uh, Asus transformer on the other side. Let's compare it with another Asus charger, which follows the same principle and they are pretty much the same in size. Maybe there are uh, two millimeters difference between them. So they pretty much uh, look the same. They are same size, same shape, everything. Uh, but uh, this one is for uh, Asus uh, Transformer Prime uh, TF201. And this one has five volts. So everything nice and dandy and 15 volts as uh, another output. Because they are the same size, same everything, it's really easy to mix them uh, up, uh, mix uh, two of them uh, together. So I'm not really sure what is going to happen if you put uh, Transformer Book Chi into charger that is Transformer Book Prime. So 15 volts. Maybe nothing, maybe it will detect that it's not correct device and it will not uh, raise it to 15 volts or maybe, I don't know, it will explode. Thing is that uh, in a best case scenario, it will just uh, charge really, really slowly because it will uh, come to the 5 volt mode. And that is really bad. If they wanted to make custom voltages, they should have uh, went just with custom charger like every laptop has or God forbid use a USB 3.1 uh, Type-C connector because uh, with uh, USB 3.1 and on a Type-C connector you have option of using multiple voltages and those are standard voltages and uh, they are going to be 5, 12 and 20. Asus somehow managed to skip both uh, standard voltages, higher, standard higher voltages uh, 12 and 12, 20 in his products once with uh, 15 volts once with 9 volts. So, if you go anywhere, just remember to pack your charger and pack correct uh, charger. Oops. As far as uh, Transformer book itself goes, uh, when it comes, it comes with a keyboard dock. So, uh, one nice thing, if you disengage keyboard dock and you need to do a bit of force, I, I would say even that it borders line on uncomfortable force uh, for this one. But connections do look sturdy, so they probably can handle the, the abuse. So you are going to have one keyboard dock which contains pretty much nothing. So. There is nice standard keyboard. It is small in size, but remember this is 10.1 uh, inch uh, screen and there is not a lot of space uh, for anything. It is reasonable well. It works reasonably well. Uh, thing that I personally don't like is uh, keys page up, page down uh, are reachable only on uh, FN. Uh, same goes for home and end. Uh, this keyboard works via Bluetooth. So you can uh, turn it off to save battery and there is a small battery in uh, this uh, keyboard and that battery is something that you need to charge separately. So you always need to remember to charge 
both top part with, with the tablet itself and keyboard part. Uh, slight annoyance, uh, but uh, it's not really a big issue because battery in uh, this uh, little puppy should uh, last for quite a while. Because that uh, keyboard, my feeling is that it will mostly stand unused and off. And on side, on back, nothing except on uh, this side uh, there is a charging port. So here is the charging port, uh, nothing else. Now on to tablet itself. So for tablet, at the bottom uh, we can see two connections uh, for keyboard bo uh, dock and uh, you can also see how thin it is. This is one very very thin uh, tablet. Materials, I'm not quite sure what this is, my guess is uh, aluminium, may maybe a bit of magnesium, frankly I haven't checked, uh, but it does feel uh, reasonably good. Uh, when you twist it, uh, it is a bit twistable, but uh, nothing too much, so it does f uh, feel okay uh, in your hands. On one side, uh, there is a volume up, volume down, uh, there is a Windows button, because uh, you don't have a like on uh, any standard ta uh, tablet with Windows, so like Surface or something else, you would have a Windows key here. Uh, here you don't have it, you have it on side. Uh, it's a bad thing when you are working just in tablet mode, you always need to find it, oh, here it is, and click it and so on. Uh, however, when you are working in uh, keyboard mode, uh, it doesn't hide the key. On the other hand, the same key does exist on keyboard, so whether it hides it or not shouldn't bear uh, much relevance, but I guess it, it is a reasonably good decision. Uh, then we have a nice uh, three and a half millimeter connector and a charging port. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm not sure whether this port can uh, serve as USB on the go. Uh, connection or this is just for charging. I've used it so far uh, just for charging. Uh, on top we have power button. Uh, power button is okay for turning off the screen. To turn on the screen essentially whichever key you press even on side the screen will turn on which is a really nice thing so I'm not sure that power button is really needed but it doesn't hurt and it's at a reasonably good location so you don't press it uh, by accident too much. So on top there are openings, uh, I believe, for microphone. And on another side we have a uh, micro SD con uh, connector and uh, or socket. And you can put your micro SD. It is mostly meant just for temporarily, uh, temporarily, for temporary placement of. Uh, uh, micro SD uh, because once you put it, it will uh, stick for something like three or four millimeters out, which means if you do anything with a tablet, you have a risk of uh, bending and maybe even uh, damaging your SD card or a socket where it lays. So it's good for temporary stuff, but not good uh, for permanent. Uh, next to it we have USB uh, 3.0 micro connector. I must confess that this is very first time uh, that I see this connector actually used on any device. Uh, usually everybody is avoiding this connector as much as possible except uh, on uh, hard drives. Uh, because of this reason uh, it's a little bit harder to find uh, it on Amazon. There are just few uh, models with reasonable price. Uh, however, hopefully when you connect a hard drive, uh, you are going to get a full speed and you can always use uh, one part of it, this part, as a normal USB 2.0 connector. Uh, so it is kind of compatible with your uh, USB on the go devices. Uh, nice thing is that this is a 3.0 and if this one works uh, also as a USB connector in addition to being charging port, that means that you have uh, two USB uh, connections. I will uh, need to check this uh, yet. I have laptop for something like a day, so I haven't really tested uh, all its possibilities. 
and uh, next to it we have a micro a micro uh, uh, HDMI connector. Uh, this is just so you can connect your uh, tablet uh, to your TV. It works nice. It outputs everything to full HD resolution, so it's uh, it's reasonably good. On our uh, on back side we see uh, there is camera. I think it's five megapixels. So I'm not really sure why they even bothered. Uh, I uh, like T one hundred non chi model uh, for their decision to exclude this camera. It helps them bring down the price a bit, and five megapixels is pretty much useless. Uh, finish is reasonably good, uh, although it will leave a finger a fing a fingerprints uh, if your hands are sweaty uh, even a little. On uh, front, uh, we see. Uh, oops. Uh, on front, we see that there is camera. There is also uh, ambient lighting sensor. And the uh, screen, which is really nice thing, is full HD. So it's not uh, just uh, 136 uh, times uh, 768. It's full HD screen. And uh, it has, I don't know, five ish, ten ish, ten, ten, uh, it has ten uh, finger touch. So if you, Check quickly. Uh, so it does uh, register all ten finger fingers. So it's not uh, like on uh, older T100 model where it would register only five of them. And uh, glass on it works reasonably well. So maybe on camera you will see uh, my reflection here, but during work reflection is actually not that noticeable. But also during work I tend not to sit next to window. So. It works reasonably well. I don't think it's Gorilla Glass, so you will need to take care of it. Uh, usually on uh, every uh, tablet so far I had Gorilla Glass and I can vouch for it that it does handle quite a lot. So whether this is some kind of tempered glass, I guess, or maybe they even put Gorilla Glass uh, but didn't uh, advertise it, which I find a bit unlikely. Time will tell uh, how well uh, this works. Edges are nicely defined. Uh, there is a little bit of bezel, but you can hardly feel it. That might depend, so I'm not sure how uh, good quality control of this product is. Uh, so maybe uh, with uh, some devices it will be a bit higher, with some a bit lower, but on mine uh, it's just right. Uh, so when you put it back to mod compared to T100 original model which had a proper connection to uh, other side and behaved like USB keyboard this behaves as a Bluetooth keyboard uh, what does uh, it mean to have Bluetooth keyboard first of all you cannot uh, just simply wake it uh, up by pressing any key while uh, pressing any key on its own body will work And well, not any key, it seems that uh, volume up, uh, volume down is not working uh, for waking up. But uh, even more more important thing is that uh, during a boot process, uh, you cannot use this Bluetooth keyboard. If you want to intervene in boot process, let's say to upgrade the uh, Windows set 1 to Windows 10 or something like that, you will need to have an external keyboard. And how to connect it with uh, USB on the go. All in all, uh, this is quite nice. Uh, laptop tablet uh, it's very hard to say where it belongs it is primarily a tablet but with OS that's more suitable uh, for a laptop use uh, because OS uh, uh, Windows uh, 8.1 is not really uh, comfortable uh, if you use it just as a tablet I have high hopes with Windows 10 uh, improving on that uh, however, uh, as far as power, as far as battery goes, uh, this is uh, one really nice device and I look forward to using it uh, next uh, next couple of weeks and then uh, making another video to show you lessons learned.